Hi everybody, Matt Devitt with BWF Envirotech here for just a quick overview on a question that we got in with regards to dew point and how do you actually measure this. So the way you go about measuring dew point is there's really two ways that you can get about it. it is the first one, and we're going to talk about this in just air to begin with to keep it simple. The first one is you get a wet bulb temperature and that will directly measure what the dew point is in the air. The other one is, is I need to know the dry bulb temperature, but then I also need to know the relative humidity that we have out there. And so this goes back to understanding what dew point is, which is really telling you what, what temperature do you reach 100% saturation, and then by going below that temperature, you're gonna start to condense out water. So that's what we would do within an airstream. So if we go and look at, let's say, combustion gases or other gas streams that you may have, you can still take a wet bulb temperature but it becomes more difficult depending on what else is in the gas stream. For example, if it's extremely hot, you're going to see the temperature change very quickly within there, so it's gonna be hard to, to narrow that down. Um, getting a dry bulb temperature and getting the percent relative humidity is the better way to go, but maybe somewhat difficult. And so you have to figure out how to get that moisture concentration number, either PPM or percent relative humidity. Use your psychrometric charts and go from there. The last one to reference within this, and again, this is a high level, so if you guys want more information, definitely reach out to us. The last one is acid dew point. And so within there, what we're looking at is when our acid gas is actually gonna drop out into the liquid form, which is where they really start to cause a lot of the problem. What I need here is, again, dry bulb temperature. I also need to know the amount of moisture within that system, so it can be relative humidity or percent moisture by concentration. Um, and then I need to know the acid gases. And then from there, there's a set of equations out there and you can look these up on Google, they're nothing proprietary. Um, but just look up acid gas calculation and you'll find a handful of different calculations that you can use based on what acid gas you're looking at. So there'll be one specifically for HCl versus NOx versus SOx, so on and so forth. So that's really it from a high level is when you want to measure dew point, you have to either get the wet bulb temperature measurement or the dry bulb and then couple that with the moisture concentration, either relative humidity or the actual percent moisture that we have. I hope you guys found that helpful. If you have any other questions in regards to this topic or even other topics within your bag house, please reach out to BWF Envirotech. We're more than happy to give you guys a hand. Thanks.